For two consecutive nights, Ocean Drive has been the scene of deadly shootings. Friday night, just before 11 p.m. at 7th Street, and last night, around 3 o'clock in the morning at 11th and Ocean. As is the case with most serious crime in our city, both shootings were between visitors to Miami Beach and did not involve residents. In both cases, police were literally seconds away from the incidents and arrests were made within minutes. That said, it is clear that even an unprecedented police presence could not prevent these incidents from occurring. While our daytime programming has helped with crowd control and daytime incidents and arrests are down from last year, the volume of people in our city, the unruly nature of too many, and the presence of guns has created a peril that cannot go unchecked, especially in the evenings. Over the last three weeks alone, we have impounded over 70 firearms. So tonight, Sunday, March 19th, we will be implementing a midnight curfew for South Beach as part of our emergency powers. Now, the curfew area will be from 23rd Street and Dade Boulevard on the north to Government Cut or 1st Street on the south from the ocean to the bay on the east and the west. And in addition to a midnight curfew, the sale or distribution of alcoholic beverages for off-premises consumption will be prohibited in the curfew area after 6 p.m. tonight. Now, tomorrow, Monday, our commission will meet at 4 p.m. to consider applying these measures to next weekend from Thursday, March 23rd through Monday, March 27th, as the manager's emergency powers are limited to only 72 hours. Now, people in the impacted areas should not be out after midnight when the curfew is in place. Businesses in the curfew area should close sufficiently in advance of midnight to permit patrons to avoid violating the curfew. Those going to or from work are accepted from the curfew, and a description of all the applicable rules may be found on the city's website. We are implementing all measures our legal department has said are within our rights to take. Now, as I have said many times, we don't ask for spring break in our city. We don't want spring break in our city. It's too rowdy, brings too much disorder, and is simply too difficult to police. While most may come here to enjoy the amenities of Miami Beach, the overwhelming volume of visitors The few that come with bad intentions and the presence of guns creates a wholly intolerable situation. Notwithstanding an enormous deployment of police, at times it remains a tinder. For tonight, and perhaps slightly longer, please abide by the curfew. I apologize for the disruption and inconvenience, but believe it is necessary. Now you can find updates and more detailed descriptions on our city's website, I want to thank our manager, Alina Hudak, and all our city staff for their efforts, and especially our police and the many police from other agencies that have been pitching in during these very challenging moments. Thank you for your attention.